So before we start this tutorial, I would like to tell you that my logo animation masterclass course is out now on Udemy. Link of this course is available in the description so you can do check it out now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this amazing loading animation of Google inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So as always, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation as always, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 second long and background color I'm going to choose white color and simply hit ok and hit ok like this. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on titles section. Now first thing first we will create our background element so I'm going to choose this rounded rectangle tool. I don't want any stroke so I'll delete this stroke. And for the fill, uh, right now I am going to choose this red color and simply hit OK. Then by holding shift, I am going to create one rounded rectangle like this. Let's select this rectangle, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Then select this, press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. And let's create one keyframe at the scale. Let's go inside this, go to the contents, go to the rectangle 1, go to the rectangle path 1 and we will create one keyframe at this roundness also. Ok, hit U now so we can see both the keyframes. Press F4 and convert this layer into 3D layer. Like this. And whenever you are going to convert this 3D layer, make sure that in renderer you are in classic 3D instead of this cinema 4D. So simply hit OK now. Like this. Now right click new and create one null object and convert this null object into 3D layer. Now instead of active camera I am going to go in top view. I will select this shape layer, press V for selection tool and let's move this layer over here like this. Ok. Let's go to the active camera again so we will get something like this. Now select this shape layer and let's make it apparent with this null one. Select this null one, press R for rotation so if you can see we can rotate it on y axis like this so let's create one keyframe at y axis zoom in a little bit let's go to around 1.20 frames and let's make this minus one so if you see this now we will get this kind of rotation also i'm going to select this shape layer i'll press r for rotation again and i'll create one keyframe at y position i mean y rotation i'll go over here and this time instead of minus one i'm gonna press plus one so if you see this rotation we will get something like this but if you see this is very normal rotation so let's uh, we will fix that later let's select those keyframes and hit f9 we will go to the graph editor we will select this graph right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph we will select this by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get this kind of rotation like this so let's select the shape layer press S for scaling option as you guys know with that uh, initially our scale is like this so let's hit U let's go few frame forward somewhere around over here and this time I'm gonna remove this scale a little bit downwards also roundness I'm gonna go increase it so I'll get something like this let's make this 170 so if you see we will get something like this okay select those keyframe and hit F9 let's go somewhere around over here select those keyframe and hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance time reverse layers like this and let's move this over here so if i see this animation i'll get something like this so let's select this keyframe and let's move this over here select this one and let's move this over here so if i hit play now i'll get something like this okay now uh, hit u now I'm gonna bring my logo file over here. You can choose whatever logo you want. I'll select this logo, I'll bring this at the top and I'll convert this logo into 3D layer. Select this logo, press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. Okay. Now select this logo, press uh, S and create one keyframe. Hit U. Let's go to this keyframe and now I'm gonna make this a little bit downwards. Go over here, again create one keyframe. Go to the last keyframe and hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V. 
select those keyframe and hit F9. So if you see this now, we will get something like this. Now what we are gonna do over here, uh, let's hit uh, U and uh, press Shift and then press R. So now it will remove the rotation keyframes because we don't want that. Uh, if you still don't know how to do it let me show you again whenever you are going to press u it will show you all the keyframes but now suppose i want only scaling keyframes and uh, roundness keyframes i don't want to look at this y rotation keyframes so what i'm gonna do i'll press shift on my keyboard and i'll press r and then r again so now it will remove those r keyframes i mean they are still there but we cannot see them now i'm going to select those keyframes which are roundness keyframe and scaling keyframes i'm gonna go in my graph editor i'll select this graph let's hit f9 again and by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and let's move this handle over here so we will get something like this now uh, our animation portion is almost done now right click new and we will create one camera and this time angle of view i'm gonna choose 120 uh, by default it's 39 so make sure to make this 120 and then hit ok so after making 120 we will get something like this but if you see over here this thing looks quite weird so suppose if you want to fix that then what you should you supposed to do let's see now what i'm gonna do over here i'm gonna go to my top view over here and i'll select this shape layer I'll select my selection tool and I'll simply move this towards this camera like this. So if you see this in active camera view, as you guys can see, the size is already has been increased. And now suppose if you want, then you can select this and you can increase the size or decrease the size of this logo. Or instead of that, I would like to suggest you that you should always increase the size of this shape instead of this logo. But if you see over here, we have already applied those keyframes so how can we increase the size so first of all uh, move this time indicator wherever you want like over at make sure that it should be at the keyframes then select all the keyframes like this and then increase the size like this okay so if you see this thing now i'll get something like this so we will get this kind of looping animation over here so at the uh, 1.20 frames i'll hit n and now if i hit play this thing i'll get this kind of continuous looping loading animation for this logo now we will try to add some colors to it uh, i mean to give some more elegant look what we are gonna do instead of red color i'm going to choose white color for this and hit ok let's go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for drop shadow effect so simply double click to apply distance for this shadow i'm going to choose 25 and softness i'm going to choose 150 like this and opacity let's make this 10 or let's say 20 like this so we will get something like this if you hit play now we will get this kind of animation now let's try to uh, increase the distance of this one to 40 and for the color with the help of the speaker i'm going to choose this blue color over here so simply select this select this drop shadow and hit ctrl d again and this time direction i'm gonna change from here to here and this time let's choose red color for this so as you guys can see we will get this kind of stuff now if you want then you can select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c you can select this logo and hit ctrl v also so we will get that drop shadow effect for this one so this is how you can simply create this kind of looping loading animation for your logo or for any your logo animation hit u let's go over here and move this time indicator over to here and if you hit play now we will get this kind of continuous loading animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned